Air Protein, Keyverdi, pioneering a new category, air-based protein. What if we could create food from thin air that we breathe? Beyond the plant-based, air-based vegan meat is here. It sounds like an old joke that we have often gone on about becoming a breatharian, far beyond the vegetarians. But it's not a joke. Air Protein, a California-based Bay Area Berkeley startup, has been creating vegan plant-based protein out of thin air, as their name suggests. Today's story is about the future food startup Keyverdis Air Protein. We are now facing an urgent situation caused by the mammoth growth of the human population, especially on the food. Since the foods are not infinite, more gravely, aggravated environmental contaminations trigger the food war. It's like a domino effect. The situation is getting serious and severe, but humans eat and pollute without any concerns. So a series of food startups are developing so-called future foods by introducing brilliant food technologies. So far, the future foods are mainly dealt with the fake meats and insects for a substitute to the protein supply. Most of all, protein is one of the most critical nutrition factors. It is easy to guess by following the etymology of the word protein. Protein is rooted from the Greek word proteus, which means primary, of the first rank or important. And also, environmentally, innovation in the protein is essential right now at this point because the pollution caused by traditional agriculture system, including dairy farms. Following this trend, creating new protein sources is most important, which can substitute an agriculture-based meat. Announcing on November 12th of the last year that they had created the world's first air-based protein using elements found in the air according to the statement from the food startup Keyverdi. In fact, the original idea of a compounding air protein is rooted from NASA. The CEO of the Keyverdi, Lisa Dyson, and her partners picked this great idea from NASA's report. The research was done in the 1960s when the government agency was trying to find efficient ways to create foods for longer space missions while using limited resources. NASA came up with an idea for a so-called closed-loop system. They used the microbes to convert the exhaled carbon dioxide from the astronauts into the food. They incorporated it into the CO2 scrubbing system that gave astronauts their fresh air supply. This allows NASA to take a waste product and turn it into the food sources for the crews for long voyages like say a trip to Mars that takes around 6 months. By summarizing the report, finally they find out the hydrogen bacteria, which is autotrop monad, which means single-celled organisms. These bacteria generate the energy themselves by oxidizing the hydrogen, which explains the autotrop. So, here is the impact. Creation of the air protein, which is the same as the animal protein. So, how is it possible to make the plant-based meats from the air around us? The answer lies in the special type of microbe called hydrogenotropic, which is the compound of the hydrogen and autotrop. I bet you got the point. Yes, it is the same as the hydrogen bacteria. The single-celled microorganisms convert the carbon dioxide into the protein. Then, why this oxidation process is so important? Because that is the way plants do, namely photosynthesis. Plants are amazing creatures. They gather sunlight, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and make them into meaningful energy sources, namely glucose. The molecular formula is C6H12O6. That is the point. They mimic the plant's energy generating process, but more efficient on time and space. And even more, they upgrade and go beyond this typical photosynthesis. That is the Keyverdi is doing. Basically, the microbes do the same job as the plants. 
by converting carbon dioxide into foods, and they do this using less space, no sunlight, and with far fewer resources than traditional plant-based agriculture requires. Their probiotic production process combines the air elements such as carbon dioxide, oxygen, and nitrogen with water and mineral nutrient to make the nutrient-rich protein. CEO Lisa Dyson described this process as very much like making yogurt or beer, still without the same kind of fermentation that happens in those processes, she told the San Francisco Chronicle. I guess that she wanted to feature that this process is not that artificial as GMOs, but it is very natural process of nature. The exception, of course, becoming that unlike beer or yogurt, there is no grain or gallons of milk required to create this protein. The San Francisco Chronicle also reported that the resulting protein dense powder is tasteless, but is easily made to look and taste like food consumers are familiar with, much like meatless burgers, protein enriched pastas, cereals, beverages, and more. Their air-based protein a similar amino acid profile to animal protein with a fraction of the footprint. It is also free from hormones, antibiotics, pesticides, herbicides, gluten, dairy, and soy. How perfect it is! This is what the future food should to be. Experts like Dana Hunitz, a senior dietitian at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, have said this idea is feasible. Given that protein have a large nutrition-containing group in them and the air is over 70% nitrogen, it would make sense to me that you could siphon that nitrogen and carbon from the air to form the backbone of the amino acid, which are what all proteins are made of. Air protein is their company's product as a way to create a more sustainable food system that we are in desperate need of as our growing global population is expected to swell even farther than the 7 billion plus we currently sit at. They also pointed out that their method does not require large amount of land resources and is not dependent on weather or other conditions in nature like insects or disease. More significantly, the air protein contains nine types of essential amino acid, which is a similar figure with the animal protein, and double the amount of the whole amino acid. Furthermore, air protein already contains vitamin B, B12, niacin, thiamine, which are hard to intake with regular vegan diet. So we do not have to take those minerals as pills or tablets separately. Another advantage the company told is that they can make their proteins in a matter of days as opposed to many months it takes to raise crops or livestock. A cow, for example, takes about 18 months to bring to market for beef. That's just a time consideration. Just think about how it takes around 1800 gallons of water to make 1 pound of beef. And you see how valuable this technology really could be at large scale. CEO of the Air Protein, Lisa Dyson, said that the statistics are clear. Our current resources are under extreme strain as evidenced by the burning Amazon due to the deforestation and steadily increasing droughts. We need to produce more food with a reduced dependency on land and water resources. Air-based meat addresses these resource issues and more. The world is embracing plant-based meat and we believe air-based meat is the next evolution of the sustainably produced food movement that will serve as one of the solutions to feeding a growing population without putting a strain on natural resources. CEO Lisa Dyson's bio from the site Riz. Dr. Dyson is the CEO of the Air Protein, which is focused on feeding the world population without food made from the most sustainable protein. Protein that is made of elements found in the air. Using a proprietary probiotic production process, air protein is forging the way into the new era of sustainable food production and has introduced the world first food from CO2. I highly recommend you to watch Dr. Dyson's TED talk about technology. Dr. Dyson is also the CEO of the Kiverdi, 
which is remarking supply chains with carbon transformation. She goes over more details about the process of making air-based vegan meat and background of its starting with NASA. Dr. Dyson is a scientist and entrepreneur to her core, taught to solve problems. She was raised by an entrepreneur where she says ideas come to fruition, and she thrives when she is able to use her scientific knowledge to solve problems that are good for the business and good for the planet. Lisa has spent the last decades of her career working on climate-positive technologies. As a mission-driven entrepreneur, Dr. Dyson is passionate about challenging business leaders to adopt innovative, sustainable ways of producing. Kiverdis Air Protein isn't the only company using air to make protein. A Finnish company called Solar Foods also says it's making foods out of thin air. Using a combination of carbon dioxide, water, and renewable electricity, CNN reported earlier this year. I'm looking forward to the days when this food technology is commercialized as soon as possible and reduce our dependence on finite land and water resources. The Ultimate Sustainable Food System Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and please share your thumbs up. If you have anything to talk with me and share with me, please write in the comments. I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of funny stories to you guys. See you again. Bye.